Department of Natural Resources is unveiling its recommendations for the 2014 deer hunting season. The DNR hopes the changes will produce a bigger deer harvest this fall. NBC 26's Brian Miller joins us live at 5 with more. Brian? Yeah, Cassandra, the DNR is rolling out the changes this weekend, and they're expecting big things, including a lot of feedback from the public on the ch proposed changes. The DNR rolling out changes to the 2014 deer hunt at this panel discussion in Stevens Point. The department is reaching out to hunters statewide. What we're trying to do now is just talk you through the, um, the next steps as we head to implementation. And how it will implement changes recommended from a 2012 report by the state's deer trustee. Hunters like Stephen Olson are sounding off about what needs to change. They need to do a better job on their count, on their herd count. You know, when they fly around in the airplane and they count 50 deer in the field and then zoom them down in the field and scare them across the little five acres of woods to the other side of the field and they count them again, you know, they're not getting accurate count. Recommendations include using a deer management assistance program or DMAP to set different rules for deer harvests for each piece of hunting land depending on deer population in that area. The research action team also recommends banning baiting and feeding, a divisive issue among hunters. It should be allowed just because everybody has their own tactics. I think if you get rid of baiting, you should get rid of people planting food plots. DNR will be holding a series of public meetings in October to discuss these changes. Dates and locations have not been set just yet. But if approved, these changes will be implemented in 2014. Brian Miller, NBC 26.